This is Will Billy Two Fist McGee with NextLevelGuitar.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing good. Right on. Everybody's feeling luxurious all across this great nation and great world of ours. Amen. Right on, brothers. Now, check this out. I got, a, I got a new lesson or whatnot. It's pretty easy. Um, kind of inspired by actually that uh, that girl from Paramore. I uh, started messing around with some um, major sixes and major sevenths. Uh, and just kind of got this pedaling idea. A lot of it was kind of like, uh, started thinking about it, it kind of broke down into like uh, Alex Liveson from Rush. You know, he's been doing this type of thing forever. Uh, making it sound really big with uh, not a whole lot of stuff going on, you know? idea that you can use anywhere in a song in a bridge chorus in an intro or whatnot it's got an upbeat feel um pretty easy uh and it's got the pedaling thing you know what i mean like with the notes kind of it's only three to four notes i'm actually using at any given time and by pedaling them and, and switching them up uh get all different types of feels and like i said use this in any context that you like run with this and do something different um without further ado i'll show you the chords this is a g major seventh uh, my third my, my second fingers on the uh, low E string on the third fret and my first finger is on the A string on the second fret and my third finger is fourth fret in the D string now uh, going to the next one's a G major six I'm just taking this uh, my third finger off and uh, resolving it with uh, my second or my first finger on the second fret so it's kind of barring across. Yeah, barring. I'm barring. That's the major six. I mean, that's major seventh. This is major six. Now, uh, how it resolves the whole that whole little part right there is it goes into uh, uh, G five, which I'm just extending. I was talking about that the chord is my second finger on the third fret. My first finger is on the uh, the A string on the second fret. And my pinky here comes all the way down to the fifth fret on the uh, D string. Now the pedaling part. Um, basically arpeggiating that whole thing, the, the, the whole chord there, the G5, the, the G7. Once you hit, once you resolve, once you come down to the, uh, the, the G note, you're gonna uh, take your uh, third finger off and then we start playing this, this, the second chord. So the first part is the next part. And the next part is I'm gonna go straight back to what I just played. So. G major seventh to G major sixth to back to G major seventh to G five. So. I'm gonna play this real slow so you can get a feel for it. When I go to the power chords, I'm using a uh, G5 and I'm also using a uh, an F sharp five. So, and also uh, a lot to, uh, for the beginning is, which is an E5 to uh, F uh, F sharp five. It resolves to G. If you haven't caught on by now, it's the same uh, fingerings as I used before, but I'm just doing it in a different place. Now, uh, to show you what I'm doing, this is a D, uh, this is a D major seven. Uh, and I will tell you exactly what I'm doing right here. Uh, my second finger is on the A string on the fifth fret. My, my uh, first finger is right below it on the D string on the fourth fret. And my third finger is down here on the sixth fret on the uh, G string, so. Same exact picking pattern. Same exact picking pattern. Uh, just take your time. See, I'm, this is the first chord, which is the D7, the D6. Clean up a little bit for 
which is barring. This is uh, my second finger is on the f uh, the fifth fret, and uh, my first finger is on the uh, D string and uh, the G string, barring on the fourth fret. And then to re and then coming back over here, uh, using my pinky to make the uh, the the five the G five I mean the D five chord uh, comes up here on the G string on the seventh fret. D five and C sharp five. All you fans of Brian Adams know what I'm talking about. Come on, he's got a great voice. <laughs> on the D chord, here's how it sounds. You put them both together, this is what you get. Lightly mute it with your right hand at the bridge by using your palm, just a little bit, um, you know, lightly. Uh, I would say uh, you can kind of choke up and experiment sometimes. You can get a really tight sound depending on where you pick, but uh, generally leaving a little, little uh, forward from the bridge. So it just kind of gives a, you know, it kind of gives it a little staccato kind of feel a little bit. Um, but uh, Use this information and run with it in all scales and keys. You know what I mean? Uh, you'll find something that you're doing. You guys that love punk rock, maybe a little of the hardcore stuff, I've heard a lot of bands, one of my favorite new bands is a band called Misery Signals, been using all kinds of stuff like this um, to really open up uh, true heaviness. It doesn't matter if it's metal or if it's rock. It, if it's direct and it gets you here and the vocalist is, feels completely free and to nail their parts, the synergy in the band starts. So that's what this is all about. So just take it, run with it, and just nail it. By uh, taking this basic structure and moving the fingers around, you're gonna come up with all kinds of different ideas. You know, there's gonna be different chords and whatnot, but you're gonna get a completely different feel. If you like the what, what I was doing right here, you can also apply it and even make it darker sounding. I've heard all kinds of cats doing a lot of darker sounding stuff. The guys in Threat Signal are notorious for it. I mean, they're a great band, great new band. But um, like I said, Alex Lassen's been doing it forever. Uh, the guys in uh, Paramore with that incredibly talented singer, uh, they're doing it. Uh, same thing with Flyleaf, uh, where you know the power ballad kind of thing. You know, where it just gives it gives the the song a lift. Uh, so the, until next time, this has been Will Billy Two Fists McGee with NextLevelGuitar.com with over. 800 videos and counting, baby. And growing. And growing. That little sign down there, click on it. Dude, subscribe to YouTube and just, you're gonna have some lessons coming at you. You know, you're gonna be able to check some stuff out, man. Subscribe to it, tell your friends about it, tell your grandma about it, tell your grandpa about it. Tell your dad, your mom, your sister, your aunts, uncles, I don't give, you know. Yeah. You tell everybody about it, basically. You know, because you enjoy yourselves. And like I said, till next time, this has been Will Billy Two Fist McGee with NextLevelGuitar.com.